What's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to be replacing the uh, in-tank air control valve on my 2002 Dodge Ram 5.9 liter. It's kind of hard to get to a little bit, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to get to it and everything. Uh, show you how to take the old, how to take the old part out, um, the new part and everything, and what it comes with and all that stuff. So here is my intake tube. Obviously that has to come off. It's got two 516 millimeter nuts on it so get those off slide it off to the side and it's got your vacuum hose right here that attaches to it so make sure you disconnect that also make sure you reconnect it as well otherwise uh you'll be wondering why you're stalling out and you might be trying to blame the valve you just replaced <laughs> i've actually seen people do that they're like oh man i just replaced the valve and it had to have been a crappy bad valve from china or something and they get under there and we look and we're like oh wait we forgot to plug the vacuum hose in not me this happened to somebody else. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so on the back side right here is where I'm trying to get the light where it won't blind the camera. So right here is obviously your throttle body st coming straight into the back of the car. Distributor, your idle air control valve is right here and it sits right on the back side. I've already loosened mine up. It had two T20 bolts on the on one on each side. So I went ahead and disconnected both of those. So all I have to do is slide this bad boy out. So there it is right there, your idle air control valve. I still got the connector on it. It's got a little quick connect on it. So all we're gonna do is pull that tab and slide it off. And it's literally that easy. Now, I haven't looked at the old one yet. And you can see why I'm having idling issues. I mean, it is completely covered in all type of crud. It is not supposed to look like that at all. Wow. <laughs> so, there's that. <laughs> well, here is the brand new one. I don't want to make sure everything looks the same on it. So, see what the old one looks like? Versus the brand new one. I mean, it is completely different. Um, now, one thing you got to take note in. Um, the instructions on the... I'm sorry, I called it an intake air control valve. That's not what it is. I'm sorry, it's an idle air control valve. Sorry about that. <laughs> but you want to make sure, from what I was reading, that the lengths are completely the same. So you can actually pull that out a little bit, it says. And uh, try to get it completely even with this one before reinstallation. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install it and uh, see what happens. Right, what's up guys? All right, I'm back. So I got the idle air control valve already reassembled. Uh, like I said, it's two bolts, T20, little four pin connector, pops it back in. Now, one thing I will go ahead and, and let you know, and uh, I was reading on the instruction on the new one that I just bought. It says you must drive the vehicle over 40 mile an hour so that it resets itself on the uh, the idle. And uh, so I haven't done that yet, but I just wanted y'all to know that I've got it done. I'm going to go ahead and tighten the intake box up and everything, and I'll take it for a spin. And uh, we'll see what happens. So i got to make sure I go over 40 mile an hour. <laughs> that shouldn't be no problem. What's up, guys? So I'm back. All right, so I took the car, or excuse me, truck, out for a little drive. Um, man, it was right around 2,500 RPM. Um, so I drove it probably a couple of minutes, probably like three minutes. Uh, when I got up to the stop sign with my brakes on, even after going 40 mile an hour, it was really loud. Uh, still idling high. But I ended up putting it in park, shutting it off, and then turning it back on. And it's been idling perfect ever since. It drives so much better. So that's all it was, man, was just the, uh, the idle air control valve just being completely dirty. I mean, that thing was nasty. So it uh, works for me. All right, awesome. I hope uh, I helped you or somebody with this video. Um, and hopefully I'll be posting some more. Peace.